channel. Today we got something completely and utterly bizarre. Well, the six-speed manual Cummins, yes, that is bizarre in itself, um, but that's not what I was talking about. About one year ago or so, I made a video about using Pledge's tire shine. A lot of people were like, what is this? A lot of people were like, oh, it's gonna crack your tires. Using Pledge's tire shine is nothing new. All the old timers like, oh, we used to do this all the time. Pledge is supposed to be and can be used on delicate and soft things such as leather as well, so your tires are definitely safe. However, today I got something that is completely and utterly bizarre if you could hear it rattling around in the background. Duplicolor has created tire paint. Yes, tire paint. What? What? Uh, this says Monster Rubber All Weather Performance Wet Look Dry Finish. If that doesn't sound like a Saturday night, it sounds like a Wednesday night because that's what we're doing today, guys. We are going to put this tire paint. I don't know if I'm going to try it on the comer first. However, most definitely going to spray the Jetta tires 100%. Oh, look at this D-Max coming through. Nice long bed over there. We're on our way home when we get home. We are going <laughs> to... We're going to tear right into this, guys. And we are going to spray paint our tires. All right, guys. Learning from the mistakes of a almost 2 million view video, I'm going to try and do this with proper lighting. And that requires me to get this done before the sun goes down. And here we are. Here's the Dupacolor tire paint. Give you a close-up look on it here. Shine Last Technology Bonsta Rubber All-Weather Performance Wet Look Dry Finish Tire Paint. Now I have, I do have, in fact, two cans, and I do have two vehicles. I feel it belongs on that vehicle first. So I kind of want to try this on the Jetta, and if it does, in fact, work, I will then try it on the truck. So let's get into this super quick here. So we're going to go to the driver tire on this Jetta here. We're going to tape off a section of it, and we're going to go to town. So here we have half of it taped off, just like before uh, with the pledge video. I will be spraying this half, and I can show you in comparison to the other half of this Bridgestone. The back of this can says, uh, Tire paint is a silicone-free formula that bonds to the tire surface and will not sling or wash off. Tire paint is designed to provide a long-lasting, durable shine for all tires, ideal um, for use on exterior tire walls. So guys, let's give this a try. Just by spraying the concrete here, it is a gloss black color. Okay, so as you see, it is this kind of like milky black um, liquid here, and it's on the tire. The tire is sucking it up uh, compared to this side. This side is quite shiny. We're going to finish this tire off and we can compare it to the front. Okay, so I only did the back one. So this is just paint? <laughs> I guess. It's just like milky black substance. Let's see it here. Well, yeah, I know. That's the first problem with this stuff is that it's it's very drippy. And it'll, not like drippy in a good way, but like drippy in the fact that even taped off, it likes to find its way in every open crack. I mean, pretty much, but yeah, it's like milky black. But I'm not going to lie. This does look decently good. If you could like physically tape off every single, don't eat that, every single like crack and crevice where nothing could get, I mean, that doesn't look that bad. Good for making the black top black again. Oh, I know. So, I mean, um, if you guys work for the city and you're good in like restoring black top, uh, this is probably the product you want to use as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it looks half bad, to be honest. That looks pretty good. It doesn't, but I mean, just paint. I know. <laughs> but that's the thing. If you could perfectly tape off everything, you might as well just get black spray paint. 
I know, but this is supposed to bond of rubber. And like I said, it's milky black. It's not like actual black. So I know that's the first problem I do find with this is it likes to drip. And I mean, I'm going to be, I, you are able to scrub it off with a lot of scrubbing, but I mean, it's going to take a minute to get that off. I am not going to lie. That looks pretty good. Although the, so the minor flaws, like you need to tape it off. Well, it's just a little drippy in like all the wrong places, but the tire does look pretty darn pretty darn good i mean so here's a stock you know bridgestone tire here's a you know just normal toyo normal bfg and you come over here look at this bridgestone it looks pretty darn good it makes me so tempted to try this on my truck that's the problem with tire shine on trucks you legit can't put tire shine on trucks with any offset because it ends up all over your paint so i wonder if I did this, we'd be able to keep it off the paint. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do this. It's freezing out here, first of all. But I think I just have to. I'm about to shoot my truck with this paint as well. So, in honor of me using this $6 paint on a $500 tire, shoot this video like, guys, I'm gonna spray paint this Toyo MT. You know what, all right, guys, I kinda lied. I actually was going for the beadlock look on this. <laughs> That looks absolutely ridiculous, yet funny and awesome at the same time. Okay, so two things here, here that might sound dumb. First of all, it looks pretty good. I mean, not gonna lie. I mean, look, look at the tire comparison. Toyo compared to that Toyo. Here you go, you have this one. And you have that one. From this distance, it looks like a nice tire shine. However, if you get up on it, you'll see that it's legitimately like paint. Um, if you spray it on too thick, you'll have little globs that you'll need to, I don't even know what to do with now, because it's like, whatever. Um, I would like to see how long this lasts. Uh, some of it is still drying. I can, as you can see, I get it on my finger. But even though it's not exactly spray paint, it's kind of like spray paint. So that means if you spray it on thick in areas and it's a little globby, that's how it's going to look. However, as you can see here, this looks pretty, pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I honestly, if it wasn't so cold, if it wasn't so cold outside, I'd probably take my time, do light coats, put the cans in warm water, stuff like that, and you could probably get an awesome result. Even like another coat on this to fill in some of the uh, bare spots would probably look awesome. This looks sharp. <laughs> so guys, I'm actually not gonna lie. This might be better than the pledge because, and on top of that, I mean, it's, I mean, once it dries, it's dry. So it's gonna look, like it said, wet look, dry feel. That's exactly what it is. Uh, a few areas still need to settle up here in a little bit. Once, it, if it was warmer out, oh, I, I guarantee you could get awesome results. Um, and even this is an awesome result, but you could probably get even better results if it was in warm, uh, a warm climate. But I'm looking at just the side of this tire right now. And that looks pretty good. I mean, that looks pretty, pretty good. I'm going to show you this, the Jetta tire here that's been setting up for a minute uh, while we did the other one. That one looks, I mean, after it's set up, it looks good. This tire kind of looked like, you know, that tire with the little splotchy, splotchy areas. Um, after setting up, it looks pretty good. Like I said, compared to this Toyo, look at that doll, doll look. No, that's not paint on the wheel. I rubbed that off uh, when I took the tape off. But that looks awesome. I honestly need to wash and clean that wheel and the whole setup and the whole truck for that matter. If it's warm this weekend, I'll definitely do that, but that looks really, really good. <laughs> so guys, yeah. Tire paint, not gonna lie. I mean, I still got, I sprayed a 37 and a car tire and this can is pretty much full. So honestly, you could probably get away on a car, one can, even on a truck with 37s, one can. $6.99 for like an almost permanent tire shine. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this little hack here. And um, <laughs> if you want to, give it a try yourself. Um, not gonna lie, decent, decent results. Uh, especially on the Jetta, that car tire looks sharp. 
Um, I'm gonna wait for this 37 to set up a little more and then I'll pull it out, but it looks pretty good, especially for $6.99. So I wanna say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe, shoot this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. We got some important parts coming for the Cummins, so uh, you guys, you guys are definitely, definitely gonna enjoy that. See you guys next time. Definitely gonna do the other, the other three tomorrow.